Yeah, g'day, bush camping tools here. Well, today I'm gonna start something different on bush camping tools, and that's talking about uh, doing some book reviews. Is called The Prepper's Medical Handbook. The author is William W. Forgy, MD. That's right, he's a medical doctor, a general practitioner. The Prepper's Medical Handbook is about managing many medical situations without outside assistance. In other words, without access to the grid. The text also tells you when it is imperative to get help from the grid. For example, immediate evacuation situations such as heart attacks, fractures of the teeth below the gum line, and ectopic pregnancies. Wow. That is not going to happen to me and my friends. Well, I'm afraid if you are thinking like this, then you had better change your mind about becoming a prepper. Prepping, unfortunately, brings to mind lots of guns, ammo, and secreted away underground shelters. Not true. No amount of guns and ammo is going to help you if you cannot deal with a simple medical situation which may or may not require urgent assistance from some trained doctor or paramedic. His writings are backed up by real field experience in providing medical care for numerous years in remote areas of Haiti. Drawing on his experiences of almost three years as a young infantry soldier in Vietnam, Dr. Forgey delivers straight to the point pertinent medical information for factual preparedness for off-the-grid situations. So what kind of medical conditions are we talking about in this if we're going to talk about medical stuff? survivable medical conditions where one needs to solely rely upon one's own resources and training. Just quickly if you don't know what defines off the grid, well this means basically no access to everything powered by energy sources we take for granted in our daily lives such as you know electricity, diesel power, coal, nuclear, what have you. If ever there was a text which should be mandatory for preppers to read is this book and not just preppers but anyone who just wants to be responsibly prepared for a worst case scenario. Now this book is available as a Kindle version as well as a paperback. So this is an excellent text and maybe that comes as no surprise as Dr. Forgey uh, is a well-known name in the field of wilderness medicine. So far from what I've read and I've read most of it already and too it's well worth reading. There are 11 chapters in uh, the book. The first one, how to prepare for medical care off the grid, assessment and stabilization. So they're all laid out in a logical way. And then you've got uh, here, uh, body system, symptoms and management, various different sections in there. So you, for example, symptom management, uh, everything about the eye, the nose, the ear, the mouth and throat, chest, abdomen, reproductive organs, poisoning, managing diabetes, uh, water and waste. Then we go on to radiation. Okay, so there's a chapter totally dedicated to radiation. Dental care, another chapter five um, that only talks about dental care. And I found some really interesting things in here, simple things that you may uh, find um, which may appear not to be so serious but can develop into really serious situation so you need to be prepared if you're off the grid to be able to handle those things things that can actually require uh, evacuation under the dental care so I thought that was a great chapter in itself um just want to quickly briefly talk about the radiation chapter uh, I thought the radiation chapter waffled on a bit there it is important to uh, certainly know about this the safety aspects of, of radiation even if it's not for a survival situation I believe uh, yeah Anyway, chapter six, soft tissue uh, care, trauma and management. You've got, you know, the bleeding wound, the wounds uh, that are bleeding, wound closure techniques, all sorts of things there. Special considerations, um, other types of wounds, finger and toe problems, wound infection and inflammation and skin rash. And soft tissue care and trauma management, this would have to be one of the biggest things and it's said in the book here too uh, of responsible for admissions to accident and emergency in hospitals. So it's important to look at that. Then he goes on to look at orthopedics, bone uh, and joint pain and injury, bites and stings. That one uh, is important for me being an Australian. Uh, we grow up knowing about bites and stings and poisonous uh, creatures. 
bioterrorism, chapter 9 in infectious diseases, uh, environmental injuries in chapter 10, and chapter 11 is really great because chapter 11 talks about how to really assemble an off-the-grid medical kit, which things are restricted and which things aren't. So you've got restricted uh, oral topical medication modules and non-restricted things. And, and finally, um, there's a medical resource bookshelf, clinical reference index, and a little bit about the author on 312. This book is really like a supplement to add extra information to the courses that you would formally undertake for sort of like certificates whether that's a certified course in basic first aid and or advanced first aid or a course in pre-hospital trauma life support courses that's PHTLS you might see that written down somewhere illustrations are done by Robert L Prince who is an accomplished illustrator of instructional information despite being in black and white they are more than detailed enough to be able to follow However, I would always recommend that one does a registered certificate course in regards to administering any physical procedures such as first aid and other actions as detailed within this text. The book is easy to read and it is clear it has been written by a medical doctor, however jargon has been kept to a minimum. The text isn't dry or boring and sometimes an addition of light humour can be found in what otherwise could be thought of as a doom and gloom situation. So there you go, uh, how to prepare for medical care off the grid. It's something that you should uh, have on your bookshelf. And uh, the Preppers Medical Handbook, totally recommended. Bush Camping Tools here, thanks for watching.